In a small town, nestled amidst green hills and meandering rivers, Father Lorenzo had fervently served his parish for decades. His church, a haven of peace and spirituality, began to face unexpected challenges, petty thefts, and a growing sense of insecurity among the faithful. On a cloudy afternoon, as he walked through the silent corridors of the church, Father Lorenzo reflected on the recent events. He had noticed the apprehension in the eyes of his parishioners, a shadow deepening with each incident. Determined to restore the lost tranquility, he made a decision. Carlos, Father Lorenzo said upon encountering the caretaker, we need a solution. We cannot allow this insecurity to persist. I will speak to an old friend who can help us. Carlos nodded, understanding the gravity of the situation. I will do what I can to assist Father. The church is our home. Father Lorenzo then sought out Roberto Silva, a respected security professional who agreed to install hidden cameras around the property. However, Father Lorenzo insisted on keeping the existence of these cameras a secret, except for a device within the sacristy to protect the church's valuables. Explaining his decision to Roberto, Father Lorenzo said, I don't want our faithful to feel watched in their own place of worship. These cameras are just a preventive measure, nothing more. Roberto nodded, understanding the delicacy of the request. Father, I will do the work with utmost discretion. Your trust in the community is important, and I respect it. With the cameras installed, a sense of relief permeated the parish. Father Lorenzo, though relieved, couldn't help but feel a weight in his heart for the decision to conceal the truth. He wondered if security justified secrecy. Among the parishioners, two young individuals stood out. The newcomer, Father Matthias, and the sweet sister Sophia. Father Matthias, with his vibrant spirit and thirst for learning, quickly endeared himself to all, including Father Lorenzo, who saw in him a possible successor. Sister Sophia, on the other hand, carried with her a story of pain and overcoming. Her arrival at the church was marked by a past of hardships, but in the community, she found a new beginning. Father Lorenzo watched the interaction between Matthias and Sophia, feeling like a guardian of their young hearts. However, he was unaware that the hidden cameras he installed with good intentions would soon reveal a story he wasn't prepared to face. As the days passed, Father Lorenzo's church became a center of renewed fervor. The presence of Father Matthias and Sister Sophia added a new dynamic to the community, bringing hope and rejuvenating the faith of many. Father Matthias, with his infectious enthusiasm, not only captivated the parishioners with his inspiring sermons, but also dedicated hours to community projects, showing a deep commitment to the teachings he preached. Sister Sophia, though more reserved, surprised everyone with her angelic voice in the church choir and her tireless volunteer work. One day, while Father Lorenzo was reviewing some documents in the sacristy, he heard laughter coming from the garden. Curious, he peeked through the window and saw Father Matthias and Sister Sophia sharing a moment of relaxation among the blooming rose bushes. The old priest smiled, thinking to himself, how good it is to see such dedicated young people finding joy in their vocation. On a sunny afternoon, Father Matthias approached Father Lorenzo for a conversation. They met in the library, a space filled with old books and the scent of polished wood. Father Lorenzo, Matthias began, I am truly grateful to be here. This community, your support, it has been incredible, but I feel like I can do more, learn more. How can I better serve our parish? Father Lorenzo, sensing the sincerity in his words, replied, Matthias, your passion is a gift. Continue to nurture it and guide our young ones. They see in you a role model to follow. And as for Sophia, she has much to offer too. Support her, as I know you already do. In another corner of the parish, Sister Sophia confided in a fellow nun, Sister Clara, about her own insecurities and dreams. I feel like I've found my path here, but sometimes I wonder if I'm strong enough to carry on. Sister Clara, with a welcoming smile, advised, Sophia, your strength doesn't come from the absence of doubt, but from your ability to face them. And you're not alone. We are a family here. While Father Lorenzo continued to observe the growing bond between Matthias and Sophia, he could not foresee that the hidden cameras would capture a series of events that would test the limits of trust, community, and the old priest's own heart. On a gray autumn morning, while the mist still caressed the church towers, Father Lorenzo received a phone call that would weigh on his heart like never before. Roberto Silva, the one responsible for installing the cameras, 
had an urgency in his voice that Father Lorenzo could not ignore. Father, we need to talk. It's about the recordings. There's something you need to see, said Roberto, his voice tinged with an unusual gravity. The meeting was scheduled at the security company's headquarters, a cold and impersonal environment that contrasted with the serenity of the church. Sitting in front of a screen, Father Lorenzo felt a growing anxiety. What could be so serious? He thought while awaiting the images that would change everything. Roberto pressed play on the compiled video and what Father Lorenzo saw left him breathless. The cameras, intended to capture intruders and protect the parish, now revealed a series of nighttime encounters between Father Matthias and Sister Sophia. The images, though innocent at first glance, showed the two young individuals in moments of closeness and complicity, walking together through the church gardens under the cloak of night, laughing and sharing secrets. Roberto, this, this must be a mistake, stammered Father Lorenzo, refusing to believe what his eyes saw. They are young, dedicated to their faith, to our community. I know, Father, but the images, they speak for themselves, replied Roberto regretfully. I just thought you should know before this becomes public and causes more harm. Father Lorenzo returned to the church with a crushing weight on his heart. How could he confront Matthias and Sophia with these accusations? He needed wisdom and discernment. Before making any decision, he sought refuge in the chapel, seeking guidance through prayer. The afternoon was turning into evening when Father Lorenzo finally called Father Matthias for a conversation. In the office, surrounded by books and memories of a life dedicated to divine service, the old priest found himself facing a challenge he never expected to encounter. Father Matthias, Lorenzo began, choosing his words carefully. Some images have come to my attention, images that I believe we need to discuss. Father Matthias, sensing the seriousness of the moment, nodded silently. You and Sister Sophia have been seen together outside of the usual hours. Can you explain to me what's going on? With a deep sigh, Father Matthias began to reveal the truth behind the nighttime encounters. A truth that Father Lorenzo did not expect and that would completely transform his perception of the situation. Father Matthias looked into Father Lorenzo's eyes, a gaze that carried the sincerity of his soul. Father, our faith in God is unwavering and our commitment to the life we have chosen is total. Sophia and I, we have found mutual comfort in the adversities we have faced on our journeys thus far. Our nighttime conversations, they, they help us strengthen our faith and our determination to serve the community. But why at night? In the garden? Father Lorenzo asked, his voice choked with confusion and concern. Sophia has been struggling with insomnia, a reflection of her past anxieties, and I, I have found in music a way to bring some solace to her. Our nighttime meetings were our refuge where we shared music, prayers and conversations about life and faith. Father Lorenzo, still processing Matthias's words, felt a mixture of relief and embarrassment. And the recordings? He inquired, fearing the answer. Only music and prayer, Father. Music that uplifts the soul and prayers that strengthen the spirit. Nothing more than that. Understanding slowly dawned on Father Lorenzo's face. Concern gave way to a deep sense of guilt for momentarily doubting their intentions. In the days that followed, Father Lorenzo sought to rectify the misunderstanding he had caused. He called a meeting with the community, where he spoke openly about the importance of trust, understanding, and mutual support. Although the cameras were kept for security reasons, he promised greater transparency and dialogue about the protection of the parish.